Businesses in Rome are gearing up to welcome more visitors as the city continues its reopening. And most COVID restrictions have been relaxed. The Italian capital will host the G20 summit this weekend, about a year and a half since it saw deadly waves of COVID-19 infections. Tan Sehui reports. The splash of colour. Do you only fresh fruit to your pants fly? and the familiar smells of cheese, tomato and other Roman staples. If not for the odd masked person at Campo di Fiori, it's almost as if this world-famous market has never seen COVID-19. When the pandemic first struck Italy last year, this lively market was completely dead and shut down. Now, storekeepers say that the market is roaring back to life as Italy reopens. And they say that business is at 70 percent of pre-pandemic levels. And with the G20 summit happening this Saturday, they're hoping that more tourists will come here. That traditional Italian welcome hasn't been uttered as much as this florist would have liked in the last year and a half. After all, Anastasia Nicosia lost her income from tourists who made up 30% of her customers. Now the situation is better. And having global leaders discussing some of the world's most pressing issues in her city is a vote of confidence. This period uh, very difficult for all people. Um, the gravity, the situation for the, the climate change, uh, for the, the pandemic uh, is a very problem for, for all, for, for the world. And uh, I, good, uh, I think the good idea, the G20 in Italy, in Rome, but those very issues are also proving divisive. Local reports say anti-vaxxers are expected on the streets together with young climate activists who want less talk, more action from leaders on the crisis. It's why 5,000 police officers have been deployed across the city and not everyone is happy. Now. You see? Really? <laughs> ah. <laughs> this restaurant on Piazza Farnese sits next to the French embassy. With French President Emmanuel Macron in town, the square will be packed with police. I don't like because uh, there's too much people, too much problem, uh, too much. Uh, Rome, uh, Rome is a uh, uh, metropolitan bus. There is a lot of people in the street. Other shopkeepers agree that it will be inconvenient for the two days that the G20 summit is held. But for a city that is just reopening for businesses, it will be a small price to pay.